We had, we was on poppy plant. We had just got to talking about the poppy plant. And I was trying to show you how Heron originally was not in his original state. It comes from a plant that grows or that they taught you that grows from the soil. Okay. Now, when you go to cocaine, I was showing y'all the coca, the coca plant. That's what I was showing y'all. This plant right here. It's where cocaine comes from. Originally. The cocaina plant. Alright. What makes it a drug. Is when you add. They add baking soda to it. And chemicals and all that extra shit. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. But you know when they add chemicals and all that other shit. To the coke. Cane that they extracted from the cocaine plant, then they cook it and whatever else they do to it. I don't know. I wouldn't know, right? I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, because y'all yeah, know the feds slick. They'll pay that little subscription fee, nigga, and be in this motherfucker right now recording some shit. You hear me? I ain't done. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just assuming that when they get the cocaine, they add bacon so it and they do what they do to it and it, you know, turns to crack. Alright? Now. The crack. Once it hits the crack stage and the heroin stage, now it is a drug. Okay? And you see what and you see what heroin does to people, kills them. The avatar. The worst drug that can be strung out on is heroin. And then you see what uh we see what, what, what crack has done to community to the community. Okay? So these are drugs. Now, another drug. Alcohol. Now, alcohol and nicotine, these are drugs that you should ask yourself. Why would they allow people to drink alcohol and smoke nicotine? Now, they'll try to tell you that nicotine grows naturally, but that's a lie. Nicotine is man-made. Y'all hear me? Nicotine is man-made in a lab. My eye burn. Nicotine is man-made in a lab. Whatever I do, I'm not going to rub it with this hand. But yeah, nic nicotine is man-made in a lab. Okay? It's man-made in a lab. You feel me? So, ask yourself, why would they allow people to smoke nicotine? Hell, nicotine is so bad that they even tell you on the pack. <laughs> Might cause cancer. Will cause cancer. Hazardous. Do not smoke while pregnant. Y'all feel me? Reflections? You gotta really think about that. Like, because you might have thought about it, but you're not thinking about it. <laughs> you feel me? You might have thought about it, but you're not thinking about it. Mm hmm. It's a difference. You might have thought about it, but you're not thinking about it. 
You're not pondering on it. You're not letting your soul get a hold of it. You're not letting it marinate in you. Sometimes we got to just sit back like I'm doing right now. You hear me? Let's sit there and just... You chilling. You ain't doing shit else. Just sit there. Let shit marinate on your soul sometimes. So your soul can grasp it. Because see, once your soul get it, your soul already know all truths. The soul knows all truths. It's infinite. It cannot be lied to. This is why when shit don't feel right, it don't sound right, you feel it in your gut, right? That's your soul because it knows all truths. It cannot be lied to. Now, you can choose not to listen to that, to what you're feeling, the vibrations coming from your soul. But that's your soul know all truth. So anytime. How many people die of cancer per year? Let's look it up. Let's look it on up. How many people die from cancer each year? Oh, let's make it big. Let's make it big. Thanks. I want everybody to see it. Y'all see that? You can see that on your screen, right? How it look on your screen? Can y'all see that or do I gotta turn the camera around? Yeah, I can see you, you see it? Mm -hmm. What that number say, y'all? Read that number out loud, bro. That means you can't see you it on your phone. On, you on your phone? Oh, ten, yeah, 10 million. 10 million people. But. Yeah, I guess y'all can't see that. I'm trying to use her phone to see if y'all can see how it look on y'all end. It, it's reading back. It's reading so, and I don't want to flip the camera around again and y'all talk about y'all can't hear me. Let me see. Now what it's, now what it's here. 10 million people, y'all. Ten million people. Can you? Ten million people, y'all, die every year from cancer. Okay. So, if it's ten million people. Every year that's dying from cancer, you see it? We looking at numbers here, y'all. Hold on. How many people, how many people die from cancer each year? It says almost 10 million people die from cancer each year. It is the cause of every six deaths. All right. So they're telling you that one out of every six people die from cancer. Okay. So 
Why haven't they ever stopped selling nicotine? Why was nicotine not deemed illegal? Too many people die every year from cancer, so they say. But nicotine was not illegal. Nicotine is a drug. That's why I'm showing you these numbers. Nicotine has never been illegal, but marijuana, cannabis was illegal. All right. Can nobody dies from cannabis? Ever. Ever. You have never heard somebody overdosed off cannabis. And you'll never hear it. That's a fact. That's a fact. I, and, and, and I don't even have to look it up. Because I'm not even going to let them lie to me. Because I don't want to look it up and they fuck around have a, some weird story about when motherfuckers died from weed over in Ukraine somewhere. Like, come on, man. Knock the, knock the shits. All right? Knock it off with the shits. Cut the shenanigans. All right? Nobody's dying off marijuana. But motherfuckers is dying off this nicotine. Motherfuckers is dying off this nicotine, though. Hold on. Shoot this up. Motherfuckers is dying off this nicotine, though. Not just nicotine. What's another drug that they deem perfectly legal? Alcohol. How many people die from drunk driving? Every year, let's see the numbers. Let's look at the statistics. Okay. They say, in fact, on average, over the last 10-year period, more than 10,000 people have died each year in drunk driving crashes. In every state, it is illegal to drive with a BAC, blood alcohol level of 0.8 or higher. One person is killed every 50 minutes in the United States from drunk driving. Let's flip this around for the class. You see it? In fact, on average, over the 10-year period from 09 to 2018, more than 10,000 people died each year in drunk driving crashes. In every state, it's illegal to drive with a BAC, blood alcohol level, of 0.8 or higher. Yet one person was killed in a drunk driving crash every 50 minutes in the United States in 2018. All right. And I don't give a fuck how many arrests they make. Alcohol is still perfectly legal. Alcohol is also filled with spirits, actual spirits, sorcerers, cast spirits, use portals to open. They open up portals like when the factories where they make the alcohol at, they cast spells and, and say certain vibrations to create portals and let in entities from other dimensions and realities. And they, and they allow these entities, which are in a liquid state, in a gas state to seep into this alcohol. That's why I told you all to stop believing that the only entities that exist is the ones you can see with your physical eye in this solid state. Everything not in the solid state. Everything is not in the solid state. Some things are in the liquid state, in the gas state. A lot of things, most things are. So they let these entities in through these portals and put this shit in this alcohol. That's why it's filled with spirits, literal spirits. Now, why is we talking about heroin, cocaine, alcohol, it's squares, cigarettes, nicotine? What does that have to do with marijuana? Because all that shit are drugs. Are real drugs. 
Meanwhile, cannabis, marijuana has never been a drug. So it's a plant, right? But it's, it's more than just a plant. It's a magical plant. That's not even from this realm. We brought, see, the reason that the elites attacked cannabis and marijuana at first and made that illegal for so long was because they understood this secret, this ancient fact about marijuana, cannabis. You have to understand that we exist everywhere. So your ancestors, we created many different planets and galaxies, right? And a lot of these planets and galaxies, you can see them. So modern science down here on this planet has lied to you to keep you under light cold lockdown. So they have taught you that these galaxies and stars and different celestial bodies, they, they have taught you that these are stars. But these are not stars. These are portals to other dimensions. You know, other moments in time. All right, alternate realities, places where the laws of this world don't even exist. These places have their own laws and rules that you can't even put into words. You would have to just go there to experience it. Right? But one of but out of but up in these places that you think are, are stars exists a place called the Canis Major. Alright? And the Canis Major is a beautiful cluster of planets. But scientists down here call it a star system. All right. So on the Candace Major, all right, you have black gods, us and goddesses, more Anunnaki. We are heavy on that on the on the, on those planets. All right. So the Candace Major consists of a cluster of 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 six planets. All right, and they're all clustered right next to each other. They're all clustered together. This is the Canis Major star system. All right. And these six planets, beautiful, beautiful planets, you know. Uh, the sky is always filled with the most beautiful greens and purples because the vibration is so high on the, on the, on the frequency, so high on, on, on the Canis Major. So literally, their sky is the same color our sky used to be here on this planet originally. But... Uh, the, the, the beings that inhibit the Candace Major are us. Let's get that understood. The only thing you're going to see on the Candace Major is us. All right? Period. You'll see us, and you know, you might see like some Andromeda here and there, or like, uh, you know, Lyrans rarely ever visit the Canis Major. They kind of stay outside of that cluster, but uh, you'll see like mostly us, you know what I'm saying? Mostly us, but like I said, you know, certain beings will come visit the Canis Major. All right, so when we talk to Canis Major, the Canis Major is like the Florida Keys of the cosmos, you know? Think about the, how the Florida Keys look, how it just rides along, you know, the Americas and it's, it's its own little coastal. And it's not that far from, it's like, it's part of Florida, but it's riding along Florida, so it's like on the Alps, you know. That's how the Candace Major is in the cosmos, all right? Beautiful, beautiful planet created by one of the gods from, uh, from our home planet. That's why I said our home planet is headquarters because we have branched out everywhere. We are everywhere. So Xylanthia, where we all come from, is that's why that's headquarters. But yeah, I'm on the Candace Major, some of the most intelligent scientists, some of our most profound, intelligent um genetic engineers, and um some of our most beautiful goddesses and most intelligent goddesses and fiercest warriors um exist on the Candace Major. Um, it's a very, 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 I'm, I'm, I got a book coming out. I got different books where I'm going to just completely go into super detail about these planets even more because, you know, it stands out more when it's in a book even more. But yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a beautiful planet. It's 
the beings that inhibit the Canis Major are, like I say, some of the most, um, most advanced of us, you know. But you have a lot of scientists on the Canis Major. Um, a lot of scientists like to go there to, to practice, you know, on their different science techniques and different things that they are, you know, concocting and manifesting or whatever it might, might be. So I was like the resort of the cosmos, the Canis Major. But on this Canis Major, um, this is where uh, cannabis was originally created. So you know it now as weed, cannabis, but and marijuana and loud and kush, zaza and all that. But cannabis is the spiritual, the cosmic name of it. And um, the reason they, they, they don't even like you to say cannabis, they prefer you to say weed or marijuana or loud or zaza or kush or, you know, they, they, they never want us to say our original names, you know. Because when you say cannabis, you know, you're acknowledging it for, you know, um, uh, the deeper, you know, metaphysical properties that it withholds. And, all right. So understand that you have you are you are full of neuromelanin. This is the science behind cannabis. So you are full of neuromelanin and this neuromelanin um, exists from the core of your chi or your soul. Okay, so that means no matter where you go, whether it's on the Candace Major, uh, Xylanthia, Sirius X, um, here on Planet Kai, uh, to the Orion star system, you go to the Pegasus galaxies, whatever you are, wherever you're going, no matter. You know, you're going to keep this neural melanin because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's found out throughout the cosmos. That's what makes it so powerful. You're going to keep it with you. It's like the, the vibranium of the cosmos. Think about how, how powerful vibranium was to like uh, Wakanda and Black Panther. Vibranium was everything, right? Your neuromelanin is everything. This is what these reptilians eat off you here when they drink the blood. They drink in the neuromelanin. Um, this is why they want to keep you scared and keep fear tactics over you because they are they need they want to drink the, the neuromelanin through your blood. You know what I'm saying? They, the adrenochrome, but it's really the neuromelanin. All right, so understand that this same neuromelanin can be activated through any source of electricity. So you have these electrical coils. They are unlimited in their growth. All right. And you know it as hair or ether. You have all these pores for these electrical coils. And these are just extensions of your spirit and your soul. So this is why no matter what planet you go to, you're going to always grow this ether in some form, shape, way, or fashion. All right? This ether you have combined with your neuromelanin, all right? When it comes into contact with these properties, these, these divine properties that were placed in this cannabis, they were placed in the cannabis to enhance you. So when any, when any, when any part of your being comes into contact with, the, with this cannabis, it enhances you on a metaphysical level, right? Whether you eat it, you know, drink it, all right. A lot of Rastafarians, they be like, they don't smoke it because they don't like to consume fire. But a lot of them don't know that that was something that was taught to them by these, once again, these Europeans. Because you should have no problem with consuming fire because you are fire. You are water. You are the water. You are the fire. So that means you smoke too. The embers too. You are the earth. You are the air. You are nature. This is a supreme divine fact. You, we are nine ether beings. That means we are complete. You know how they people be like, we not perfect. You are perfect. See, they and when they, they taught you to spell cast over yourself and say that you wasn't. 
You are perfect. You you were born perfect. You were created perf perfect. You manifested in perf in perfectness. You're trying to get back to that state of perfection. But don't ever say you're not perfect. You know, y'all know that saying ain't nobody perfect. Yes, what? We are perfect. See that the, see, we, we are ancient beings, so whatever you say you create. So when you're saying you're not perfect, what you think you're doing? You are perfect. You are perfect. You perfect. Stop saying you're not. Stop telling your kids they not. You are perfect. You trying to get back to that state. Never forget. Because see, when you be like, you're not perfect. Then there's no bar set. So you never even attempt to get back to that state of perfection. You don't hear me. Your old person taught you to say that you're not perfect. Y'all know the saying when you make a mistake. Anybody hurt? You are perfect though. But as long as you're saying, ain't nobody perfect, you settling for less. So there's no, you don't even have a bar set for trying to even reach perfectness again, for trying to attain it because you already got it in your mind that you are not perfect and nobody's perfect. You see all the light, cold, lockdown, fuckery and trickery he gets you to speak over you? He understands your divineness. He understands the depth of your powers. He can never control it, but he understands it. And see, you have these electrical coils made to help you store energy, store more electricity, which is what you require to run. That's what you require. Energy, electricity, luminous beings. A lot of you be out there talking about an alkaline diet. You're not even know why, what, what makes that diet so special? Alkaline, it's electricity, right? It's supposed to be more energy, more electricity. Because see, when we was on the Candace Major, when your ancestors were on the Candace Major, they understood these electrical coils that exist as a part of an extension of your spirit and your soul. These electrical coils for storing up electricity. So inside the cannabis were placed all type of nutrients, cosmic nutrients that would activate the neuromelanin in you, further helping to awaken and open your pineal glands. Now, that was the original reason cannabis was created on the cannabis major as an enhancer. But this was way before the, the human being race was created. They wasn't even created yet. It was already an enhancer for us. But once the human being race was created, look, that's why, listen, that's why you can go. Let me show y'all something. You could go, right? I'm gonna show y'all something. It was always an enhancer. Look, you could go look at the walls in Egypt. See mar the marijuana, the cannabis, the cannabis on the walls of Egypt, Co ancient Kemet, the cannabis. All right. The reason you can see that is, is because even though that was after the fall, right? Cannabis was always used as an enhancer to help you connect to higher frequencies, higher dimensions, higher realities. That's literally why it's called getting high. It's not called getting low. Why do you think they call it getting high? Motherfucker? You're literally increasing your frequency. And guess what? The cannabis plant 
has the can can look cannabis herself is an actual entity, actual actual spirit. It's a plant. It's a spirit. It's life force. So to interact with her, she is a gateway to higher dimensions. This is why people that smoke cannabis. They go into deep thought or they start talking on a deeper level and then people crack jokes and be like, yo, that's supposed to be high. You never thought about it really, though. Yeah, they are. They, that's why they they getting, they thinking deeper, they going deeper. Those properties. And you have chloroplasts inside of your DEA. You have chloroplasts. So if you look it up, they're going to tell you that chloroplasts Chloroplast is DNA. They're going to tell you it's DNA. If you look up, if you Google, Google what is chloroplast, chloroplast, they're going to tell you it's DNA. Check it out. Chloroplasts. Chloroplasts. Let's read about it. Chloroplasts are organelles that conduct photosynthesis, where the photosynthetic pigment chlorophyll captures the energy from the sunlight, converts it, and stores it in the energy storage molecules, ATP and NADPH, while freeing oxygen from water and planted algal cells. So, that's chloroplasts. You have this inside of you. You have chloroplasts inside of you. These are the same genetics that you share with plants. All right. Because you receive, you see the, the whole process that plants eat food. They capture the energy from the sun's light. So that's photon energy from the sun. And they convert that photon energy into Electrical food that it stores inside of itself. This is the way all plant life eat because of the chloroplast that's inside of their genetics. Okay, now you have that same chloroplast inside of you, which allows you, being a divine being, to connect to the plant to the plant um, species on a deeper level. So that's why when you smoke the cannabis and which when you think you're getting high, you're really just connecting to the to the spirit of the plant. It get deeper. It's way deeper than what you think. You see what I'm saying? That's why they didn't want your ass getting high. All right. Now. Fast forward to the invasion and we get invaded and the war break out with these draconian reptilians and blah, 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 bloom. OK. They, 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 they enslaved us for a few, a few hundred years. Now, fast forward to like the 40s, 50s. Right? You had a lot of... You had a lot of uh, Kundalini energy rising on the planet in the 40s, 50s, and 60s because... That's the time when we was rising to take the planet back. But then these draconian reptilians end up shutting that portal down for a few more years. All right. But notice in the 40s, 50s, 60s is when you had your Black Panthers. And you had all these militia groups, all these so-called gangs were started. But they was really started to protect the community. You had all these people speaking out that were black and Latino against the injustices that had been happening on this planet. In the 40s, 50s, well, definitely 60s. During the 60s, one of the most powerful movements that goes unnoticed was the hippie movement. And a lot of people don't understand what started the hippie movement and what the hippie movement was all about and why it had to be shut down. So let's flip it around. This the hippie movement. Hippie movement. These were the hippies. What were the hippies about in the 60s? 
They was in the 60s, so they go. The hippies. Look at them. Wearing crystals. Smoking cannabis. And they were all about peace. Look at them. Hippies. Make love, not money. The hippie movement. Make love, not money. Look at how he wearing his hair, his ether, natural. All right? Why were they acting like this? That's a big statement right there. Why were the hippies acting like this? This is this the most powerful part of what y'all need to see. This cannabis was opening, decalcifying the pineal glands of the human beings. All right? Because it was already naturally designed to enhance us. So we already figured, hey, if we give it to them, maybe it can enhance them as well and further open their pineal gland. So, in the 40s, 50s, spaceships, scout ships, Lyran scout ships came to this planet and reintroduced the cannabis to the planet in its natural state. And they did this by going through the same portals in California that the dragons still use today when they be burning California up and they got the world thinking California just always on fire for no reason. All right. Lyran scout ships descended onto this realm. 40s, 50s and 60s and reintroduced the true cannabis from the cannabis major to this planet in hopes of activating the pineal glands of these lower class human beings. Because this was happening in the 60s. So the plan was then to get the gods and goddesses to wake up, which was, which was going on. That was going on in the 60s. You had all Mal Martin, Martin Luther King and a lot of Martin uh, Malcolm X and Black Panthers. And like I say, a lot of people, Che Guevara, Fidel, a lot of people, a lot of the black and Latino people, the gods and goddesses and Anuki were waking up all over the planet. So at that time. We were also trying to awaken these lower class human beings who wasn't part of the hierarchy with the reptilians. Because remember, human beings still come from the share some of the genetics of the gods. They are hybrids of they are mixed with God, D.E.A. and animal DNA. So you still share the genetics with these humans. So this is why we tried to bring them into the war and it was working. When they started smoking that cannabis, look how their mind was thinking. You see a white man. Telling you to make love, not money. That's a white guy. Notice his colors. Notice his hair. Yeah, they could never get it like ours, but notice the symbology. He was going back to nature. You still down with those hippies. A lot of them, they were not racist. They were completely against what was taking place in the 60s with the, white, with, with the way whites were treating blacks in the country. This is a fact. The hippie movement. This is why it was destroyed. They were against war. They were against everything because why? They were smoking cannabis. It was all because of the cannabis. And that's what you need to know. That's how powerful the cannabis is. It's a metaphysical property designed to further enhance your pineal gland. This is the true meaning of cannabis. You see them talking about make love, not money. Look at these signs they was holding up. Peace. Hippie movement. Them the realest white motherfuckers you gonna ever come across was them hippies that was in the hippie movement, man. They was fighting with, with you down. They was fighting with blacks and Latinos and dying with them too. This is a fact. This hippie movement. Because they were smoking the cannabis, tapping into their pineal gland. So when you open that pineal gland, the truth comes to light. A lot of those hippies knew that the black people, the black and Latino race were the gods of the planet. They knew that. They spoke that. They understood that. You see, they got books and shit. They got to ask you, what happened to the hippies? Right, because they asked was on some positive shit. 
because they were tapping into that cannabis. But see, they'll never tell you this in history. How did they get to that state? How you get white people to think like this? Make love, not money. Talking about peace and shit. Because they were, their pineal glands were opening. Look at their colors. Pay attention to the colors they were wearing. Blues. Pineal gland. And you would think like, oh, they was faking. No, they were smoking cannabis. That comes from the cannabis major. It was designed to do that. It was designed to do that. Look, love, not war. Which is why they ass is no longer around. Ain't no more, ain't no hippie movement no more. So you got to understand the truth. Look, this is their motto. Make love, not war. They ass ain't around because they was tapping into that pineal. How was they doing it? Smoking the cannabis. Look. They was killing them hippies. All right. Look. The death of the hippies. And what's she doing? Smoking cannabis. It was opening their pineal. This was the whole hippie movement. Started the whole fucking hippie movement. Look. In the war in, in, in Vietnam. You know what I'm saying? In the war in Vietnam. You got to understand the type of shit they was on. And the reason they were on that was simply because they were smoking this cannabis. It was the cannabis. You got to understand the power of the cannabis. What was happening. If you want to see how the cannabis affects. Now, if they wasn't smoking that cannabis... They would have stayed in that lower vibration state like those higher up, up um, white people. You get what I'm saying? Look. Look, hippies. This is the hippie. She's white. But she was off that cannabis, so her third eye was opening up. And when that third eye opened, the real, the real comes out. No negativity can come out when that third eye start opening. Pay attention to the signs they were posting. The cannabis. The cannabis was doing that. Look at this shit. Black lady. The cannabis. You got to see the effects of the cannabis. All right. A lot of people don't know this. Now, check this out. Look, bombing for peace is like fucking for virginity. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they got, that's why they movement got destroyed. You feel me? They destroyed the hippie movement too. But check that game though. It's the bigger point I'm trying to get you to see. You see the way the cannabis completely altered those white people? In that day and time, racist as fuck. They went from racist as fuck to make love, not war. Cannabis. Because of the properties that's in it, it's strictly designed to open the pineal gland. Nigga. White folks out there, peace signs, black power, everything proud. And they when them hippies wasn't faking it. Like these little white agents that get out here now and try to fake like they in the movement with us, they throw a couple rocks and shit. They be really government undercover agents. Nah, them hippies was really flat out living that life. They was smoking weed in the mountains all day. They was distancing themselves from society, all that. And that's why they ass don't exist anymore. They was tapping in. A fact. And see, the government, the elites know that. So that's why all them years, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, weed was all, cannabis was always illegal. Nigga, they just made cannabis illegal the last 24 months. Why? Because they are they were finally able to alter the genetics within the plant of the cannabis to the point where now, you know, they can't fully 
disarm the plant because we created it. So they don't, they don't understand it like us. It comes from the Canis Major. That's beyond their comprehension. But they can, however, alter it a little bit. So what happens is now they alter it, they tamper with it to the point where it doesn't have the same effect it once did. You know, it don't have the same effect it once did. That's why people, any anybody that smoke weed now and used to smoke weed in the early 2000s or 90s, I tell you the weed back then was stronger than it is now and it was better. And if you talk to motherfuckers that were smoking weed in the 80s and 70s, they'll tell you the weed in the 80s and 70s was better than the weed in the 90s and 2000s. And the further you go back, the weed gets stronger and better because it was in its original state. But in its original state, this shit gonna wake your ass all the way up. You gotta think. And the hippies wasn't just smoking. Our people were smoking too back then. Everybody was tapping in on a higher frequency. That's what started that whole movement. So... You got to understand that we have many plants around us that that's not from this planet that we brought here from other galaxies and star systems that have that are designed to empower you. It's plants right now in shrooms and certain shrubs you can eat that you would never get sick. It's plants and shrooms you can eat right now, but you'll go back to your original state physically and everything. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is around you, which is why they don't want you in nature. They keep you over up here because they can't stop it from growing. They can't stop it from sprouting. They don't understand the planet on that level. They don't have that connection to the soil and, 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 and planet Kai like we do to do that. They don't. They, they, they just know we did it, but they don't know how to do it. You get it? Facts. Pay attention, reflection. It run way deeper than the surface. Like, can, the cannabis we smoke comes from a whole different planet called the Canis Major Star System. It is a cluster of six planets. Clustered together. Beautiful planet. Purple and green skies. Beautiful, beautiful beings. That inhibit it. We inhibit it. But in a more, but in a more higher, we, we on a higher vibration though. So it's like, the words don't even describe how we look on that planet. You know? But, the cannabis is a very, 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 very powerful tool. It's, it's full of so many Celestial properties designed to enhance your avatar on every level. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like playing a video game and then you run across that mushroom and you eat that motherfucker and you do, 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 do. like on a Mario. That's where they get all that shit from in video games. They eat this mushroom and it enhances you. That come from, like, it, it's really like that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They just keep us out of nature and from away from crystals and all this that enhances nature, stuff that enhances. We are beautiful, luminous beings, man. That's why these work, because they, they connect to the neurons, and they connect to the electricity. Your neuromelanin touching these crystals affects it, you know? So, it, it's deep. It's deep reflection. It's real deep. You know? And, and that's the true reason why marijuana, cannabis... It's, let me call it a spiritual, it's cosmic name, cannabis, was always deemed illegal because they didn't want you tapping in. And when motherfuckers were still getting high, you know what I'm saying, all they could do was like, okay, well, let us start altering it. So they start weakening it over time. They just start weakening it. So even though people kept getting high and it was supposed to have been against their little man-made laws, they wasn't tripping because they just kept weakening the, the genes of the actual plants. So now they got it to a state where they got. That's why they got so many strands and all that. Originally, can wasn't no this strand, that strand, this strand, that strand. It was just one thing: cannabis. We didn't make a million strands, just cannabis. You know, they started splicing it and making these different strands, and you know, which still has all the genetics in the, in the splicing and the different off breeds, but it's still. You just got to understand it's been spliced, genetically altered. Because it's a very, very powerful, very, very, very powerful and metaphysical plant. You know? Yeah, and that's why I mentioned cocaine and, and crack and heroin and alcohol and, and nicotine in the beginning. Because, you know, heroin is an actual drug. It's actually a drug. You know... 
cocaine is a drug that the elites use. Them, all your senators sniff powder and all your Hollywood elite sniff lines. And shit, you could even go down south. The gods and goddesses sniff lines. More, more for me, 13 sniffing lines. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... Now that leaves you with nicotine and alcohol, and these are deemed actually legal products. And the, and people actually succumbing, leaving a vessel from this shit because they know it. They know that alcohol and nicotine helps you leave the vessel quicker. So they don't. Of course, they're gonna make that legal. You know what I'm saying? And, and as long until they fully could get the cannabis to a state where they can contain it, then it was illegal. And now that they got it to a state where they can like contain it. Now they making illegal. Here come dispensaries. Here come everything. You feel me? Check this out. Look at these little sayings, y'all. The cannabis. Look. If we all had a bone, we'd all get along. Hippies. This they saying this. If we all had a bone, we'd all get along. And you know what's crazy? If you don't believe cannabis is powerful, that's true. I don't give a fuck how mad a motherfucker is. Tell us that hit the blunt twice. And let's see if he stay that turned up. Boy, that, that cannabis, even at his weakest state, even though they weakened it, boy, that cannabis getting his ass, he gonna chill all the way out, nigga. Nigga, fuck how mad he say he is. Nigga, nigga, we can fight right now, nigga. Nigga, we can fight right now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, be squared up and everything. You hear me? Get that nigga to blunt somebody. Nigga, be squared up hot. You hear me? Like, nigga, we can fight right now. Nigga, what, nigga, what's up, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Give his ass the blunt. Like, okay, look, look, before you swing. No, fuck that, nigga. I'm ready to go right now. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, squared up. No, I'm ready to go right now. What's up? We, yeah, we finna, we finna, what's up? What's up? We, we, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Before you swing, just hit this one time, okay? I know y'all. I know y'all want to fight. Listen, I know y'all trying to fight. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you swing, and before you swing, I'll pay you if I got to. Can I just? Can I pay you to just hit this twice? Just twice. That's it. Yeah, hey, look, nigga, be. So you telling me after I hit this shit, I can knock this nigga out? Yeah. We'll do whatever you want to do. Just, just, just hit it twice. Give it to him. Nigga like. Yo, fuck you up, nigga. Soon as after I hit this weed, nigga. Shit, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I can't even reach for it back from his ass. Nigga, I'm like, right, let me get a talk back. Hold on, meet him one time, fam. Huh. <laughs> what, what strange you say this was? You know what? You got a point, man. I don't even think we be out here fighting like this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, you hit the shit, nigga. You know what I mean? Now, now once, once he calm down, the other nigga gonna calm down regardless. You take two to tango, you know what I'm saying? That next nigga like, hit the shit. Both the niggas hit that shit, man. The niggas gone. Y'all don't give a fuck what they was into it about. What niggas gonna be cool to the fan? Niggas gonna be talking about a whole other subject. Like, bro, so you know that... You really want to get this money, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to, you got to be ten toes in this shit, fam. You know, that whole conversation didn't change, you hear me? Niggas that went from, we, niggas squared up throwing jabs to, they sit down talking about some money or something now. Like, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We just got to, and they're going to be getting deep with it. Niggas ain't going to be talking no basic, nah, they're going to be talking heavy on the money side, like, even if they ain't got that type of money, it's just because the cannabis going to do that. Niggas going to be thinking all type of good ideas, just talking like, yeah, you know we, we, we could come together because you still cool with them over there, right? Yeah, and I still be. Cannabis, man. Cannabis, man. All right? Like, like it's, 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 it's honestly. How many times you been stressing about shit and you smoke and you just... Because of these properties to help you connect to higher dimensions and on higher frequencies, there is no pain. There is no problems. There is no... All this shit be petty, low, light, cold, low vibrational shit. So that's why when you smoke, you rise above it. And you ride the state of the gas phase. Remember, four phases of matter. 
solid liquid gas. So when you smoke, you taking that gas and you jumping past the liquid phase and you riding up into a higher phase within yourself. That's why motherfuckers start relaxing like that. That's the true reason why motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? And then as you coming down, you come you coming back into the avatar more, you start what? Getting hungry. You start getting those munchies and what you think is that because you're coming back into the solid state of yourself. Like it's a whole science to it. You feel me? Like and that's a, that and that's the true reason why they they didn't want to make it legal. And that's the reason why now you got to be careful with it because it is legal because Remember, you know, when you inhale, you pull it in that air. You pull in that element of air with you when you smoke. And even if you're eating an edible or you do doing any of that, you, you still, you're putting something within your temple. That's what make it dangerous. So, you know, got to be careful out there. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. It was, it, was, it was beautiful having all y'all in here today, man. You know, we hit that 100, we hit 100 live viewers today. That's what's up. Um, it was a beautiful first week of class. I look forward to seeing y'all next week. I'm going to post up a video on the website. Um, over the weekend showing y'all how to access the live because a lot of y'all been hearing me saying y'all still can't find the live lecture button i don't know how but we gonna get it we gonna get it we gonna get it right i love y'all now far as the class schedule we live tomorrow publicly so we live on youtube we monday through thursday here so we live on youtube tomorrow and then we live on um instagram saturday and facebook sunday or, or matter of fact, no, I think we we go. I know we live tomorrow on YouTube. We fuck around, we live on YouTube Saturday, and then I don't know. We gonna I'm gonna I'm work it out. We gonna work it out. But I love y'all. Peace to the guys and guys to the planet Kai. I leave as I come.